yeah. Happy people in the house. What is up, YouTube? SK Super here once again. So I finally made it back home, and I'm able to actually get into talking about this because I've been looking at it all day from my phone, and I've been following the press release all day, and it's just wow. But first, I want to go ahead and thank the people that have been like leaving comments for me on YouTube and in Reddit, you know, giving me advice about just improving my content quality. I mean, every little bit helps, and it helps bring better content to the channel, first of all. But, you know, if you don't like it, even with me changing what I change up. First of all, fuck your bitch in the click you claim. Nah, I'm kidding. I love you guys. Thank you guys for the advice. I'm actually great, really grateful for anyone that's actually leaving advice. I'm, I take constructive criticism really well. Lies! Be filthy earth boy lies! He lies! Because I want to do better. And I feel like you guys, as the viewers, will make me do better. Anywho, let's get back to what we're all here for. So, they've released the release date for the early access. They've put out the prices. They've done everything that we thought they would do today at this press um, release or press conference, whatever you want to call it. But in doing so, they created a lot more problems within the community because of, well, one of the prices on... The Founders Pack, which we're going to take a look at in a minute. So here we have the Founders Pack, and we're going to start with the basic price, the Standard Edition, which gives you a head start of two days, which means instead of playing on the 30th, you can play on the 28th. And then it gives you a premium membership of 30 days. I mean, that's pretty basic. Um, the Deluxe Edition gives you the same two-day head start for $69.99. It gives you 60 days of premium membership. 2,450 2, Lumina, an exclusive mount skin, and an exclusive pet skin. And that's decent giving on the prices that we know for what we're getting already. But then we get to the Collector's Edition, and that gives you two days head start plus one free copy of the game, which also has a head start on it. And it gives you the, credits, the credit title, The Founder, premium customer service, and a twinkling wing effect, 90 days of premium membership, 3,800 Lumina, the exclusive mount, the exclusive pet, exclusive costume, and an exclusive weapon skin. Now, everybody's up in arms about the $200 price tag, but what I'm really mad at is the fact that none of the others get the founder title, not even a lower tier of it or something like that. I mean, we are paying for a founder's pack, so we are all technically founders. Why does that make us, you know, less of a founder than the person that spends 200 bucks? I mean, regardless, you're still taking my money, but whatever. So people are going crazy about the $200 price tag, and I just wanted to go ahead and break it down because the $200 price tag might just be worth it. So think about it like this. You're getting three months of premium in the $200 price tag, right? You're getting two copies of the game, and say the Lumina is like for, it's a dollar to 100 point um, conversion. So you're getting 3,800 3, Lumina as well. And I'm just going off speculation for the Lumina conversion rate of the dollar amount. But say that's $38 right there. You're getting two copies of the game. That's $59.98. And you're getting three months of premium at the price of $44.97. So we're already at $142. And that's if the Lumina conversion rate is a dollar to 100 points. And it's been stated multiple times through multiple sources that the premium um, is actually $14.99 a month for 30 days. So counting the supposed cost of each of the um, weapon skin, the armor skin, the pet skin, and the the mount skin, I honestly think it should be worth it to buy the $200 pack if you have the money. I'm not saying go out and buy just because, you know, the price might be just above what it's actually worth, I mean, just below what it's actually worth. But if you have the money, then go ahead and spend it. Support Neo as if that's what you want to do. Do you, boo boo. Do you, boo-boo? You know why? Because I'm a do me! Do you, boo-boo? Do you? So, other than that, all they did was confirm the classes that they were going to release, the races they were going to have already, and the max level is going to be 45. We're getting nine dungeons. I wish we actually got to see what those dungeons look like beforehand, but that's probably asking for too much. As They are promising more information about the content on the 28th, as well as more information about the premium um, benefits, the premium um, access benefits. The wiki is actually also up on operational, 
Now, the game is available in the U.S. and the EU, and it is region locked pretty much almost everywhere else, like China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. Other than that, it was reconfirmed that, you know, there's going to be a way to gain the the um, premium cash currency for the game, which is Lumina, by doing various activities in game, one of those being PvP, and some others were saying that actually you can do dungeons as well to get the points that you can transfer over to get Lumina. So that's one good thing that's set up there. But yeah, other than that, they did put up a new video of, you know, Bless Reborn apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and say thanks for watching. Um, Like, subscribe, share, and, you know, leave comments. That's good too. And I'll see you guys in the future.